I have got a weapon to show you that could possibly be the new Trax Cannon for next season, except it's Strand. I'm talking about the final warning, but just before we jump into that, I just want to show you the artifact pair coming next season. Conductive Cosmic Needle. Targets affected by Strand debuffs, take increased damage from Arc and Void abilities. So it's an exotic strand sidearm and it's got a trait on there called Pick Your Poison. Hip firing projectiles will track to mark targets, deal increased body shot damage on impact and then you can aim. Projectiles have greatly increased velocity and deal extra critical hit damage to mark targets. But it's the bottom part, all at once, holding down the trigger marks targets within range and loads multiple bullets which fire in a burst with increased stability on trigger release. Hitting a marked target with a fully charged burst will unravel them. So this sidearm applies unraveling. I'm going to break down why unraveling targets with a weapon is going to be so so good for next season. So quick heads up for some spoilers for some artifact perks next season. Column 3 improved in unraveling. Increased the amount of damage dealt by unraveling a target. Obviously this exotic sidearm unravel so that's perfect strand soldier your strand weapons gain unraveling rounds whenever you gain woven mail when your strand subclass is equipped so that is solid as well but this is the most important one column five conductive cosmic needle targets affected by strand debuffs take increased damage from arc and void abilities so as you've seen this sidearm if we can imagine now you can do a full burst on that target very very easy to do and this, whenever you do your full burst like so, that is going to apply unraveling rounds, all them little green buggers you see flying about. So what, is, what actually is a strand debuff? We've got various different ways. The strand debuffs are suspend, unravel and sever. So this sidearm, just having the ability just to unravel targets on a fully burst, you can imagine set a DPS, DPS situation if your other teammates are on arc and void abilities which there probably will be because it's getting a lot of buffs to arc and void subclasses coming uh, roaming supers and things like that it could be really really useful next season i've just got a couple of examples to show you how easy it is to apply the unraveling rounds that instant debuff as well and as i've said before uh, previously we have got loads of different ways to apply the other strand debuffs as well suspend and sever uh, but just like that, I'm on my own at the moment, it won't benefit you if you're on your own, but in a team, you're going to constantly apply that debuffing effect for your teammates. We don't know how much that debuff is going to be, we'll have to wait on Tuesday. I'm hoping it's about 20 or 30% and that would be absolutely insane. But, again, more ways to apply debuffs with that Column 5, the Cosmic Needle, things like Suspend on a Titan with Abeyant Leaps and things like that. And even things like Swarmers on a Warlock where your Tangles are also going to unravel targets. It could be absolutely crazy, this weapon. So yeah, that is the video. Uh, I will show you some other fragments that I recommend using for uh, Tuesday if you decide to use this little mini setup. But things like Abeyant Leaps, uh, really good because that gives you woven mail on suspension. So you're getting both. And then the Warmers, the Shiner Tangle, uh, spawns a Fredlin. And that Fredlin is going to unravel targets as well. So it's really, really strong. Fred of Mind is one of the fragments I'd definitely recommend. Defeating suspended targets grants class ability. Fred of Continuity, suspend, unravel, and sever effects apply to targets of an increased duration. Fred of Generation, dealing damage generates grenade energy. And the very last one, Fred of Propagation, powered melee final blows, grant your strand weapons, unraveling rounds. So these are always there. I hope this video has been helpful, let me know what you think, it could be a little mini tractor cannon, thanks for watching, have a great weekend.